Hi everyone, this video is about Class Dojo and it's more of an introduction video for those of you who want to start using it in your practice. So first, here's my Class Dojo homeroom page. Um, I've already created an account and made my own classroom, so if you need some help with that, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like after you've already finished it so you can see more how to use it. So here's my profile, and I've said that I work here. You can see that 34 other teachers at our school already use Class Dojo, so you can link with the students that are in their classrooms. I'm going to click on my class from this year. And the first thing that you're going to see here, sorry about the bell, the first thing that you're going to see here is all my students. So that's under my classroom button. If you click on the student, you can see um, some positive things that they've done for behavior or if they did something wrong in the class. I can send that directly home with just the press of one button. You can change these according to your own classroom rules. My positive are according to the school Esslers and my negative are according to the management system that Tracy Villanova taught us, Discipline That Restores a Respect Agreement. You can also click this button here, Add Post. You can put a picture of the student or say something about her work. And you can directly here write a quick message to her parent to explain something um, that she did in class or if you have a question or this is kind of like email so your way to chat with all parents regarding whatever have you it makes it so you don't need to use WeChat you don't need to use um, anything else and it's really really convenient because you don't feel like you're at work emailing when you need to talk to parents and it's a good way to build relationships with them also here's a conversation I had with a mom the other day she sent me some pictures of her son and his dog and then um, again like any questions or answers sometimes the students will message me by themselves if they have questions about the homework so this is Yuito and so they'll check it themselves and that's a third grader having the power to talk to his teacher because he forgot his homework um, through class dojo so it's much more easy than email um, also you can keep your email for work emails and you don't have to check it about parents so that's this um, part if you want to learn anything about down here um, they do have tutorial videos on class dojo or you can just google um, about it like how to use it but these are just different tools that you can use um, think pair share um, different things that you can do here and again class dojo explains all of these features if you um, kind of explore through their site a little bit here is my favorite part so we've seen classroom and we've seen messages this part is my favorite this is the stories section and this is actually what I use Class Dojo the most for. I don't actually use the positive and negative behavior very much because to me, just a plus or minus point doesn't really communicate what's happened. So usually I just mes message the parents, but of course it depends on the needs of your students. So here is my stories page. This is kind of my home base for everything that we do. Um, at the top here, you can see what to do to post. So you can type a message here and post it directly. You could also um, add a photo from your computer or an iPad. You can add a file. That's how I do my weekly newsletters. You can add a card. I've never used this, but you could. Um, when the parents first get connected to your class, you send home a paper and it just confirms up here that all of your students have been connected. They have to plug in a form. I'll give that to you later. Um, here you can see some things that I posted. So my weekly newsletter, the lunch menu, um, any pictures from some fun activity that we've done in the class. And the parents really respond positively to this section with just pictures because if they don't have time to read up on what's going on in the class or anything, it's just really fun for them to see pictures put announcements, pictures from the fun days of school. One more section of Class Dojo 
that you could use um, for Chinese class. Here on the side is um, student accounts. Um, so here, it's kind of like a portfolio, and you can put pictures of the kids um, that only their parents can see. So here's um, a piece of writing that this student did, and so I uploaded it only to her page. So only her mom and dad will see this part of Class Dojo, and not everyone. You can also use this when you're doing grades or at parent-teacher conferences, whatever you want to put on here. Sometimes if the students do a project, I have it, I put it on YouTube and then I block it so only one person can see it if they have the link. And so here's the link to a student's project that was posted on YouTube. And then one more thing, um, here you see all of the students in my class, but for Chinese class you have lots of students from different classes. So one way you can um, go about that if you only want to create one class on Class Dojo is put all of your students here and then you can create groups. So you can create a group for Chinese level one or Chinese do 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 do. The other option you could do is creating multiple classes. So here's my classroom from this year, here's my classroom from last year, but you could have one of these profiles for each of your different Chinese classes. So um, again, it's also an app. It might be easier to use the app at first, get used to it. Um, but I really highly recommend it. It's a great way to communicate. It's a great way to um, keep track of all of the things that the students are doing. Um, it helps the parents to feel linked into the classroom even when they're not there. And overall, the students understand how to use it. The parents understand how to use it. And it makes my life a lot easier too. Um, now that I don't have, um, I don't use email at all with my parents, and so it's really, really practical. And also, if I want to remember, oh yeah, when did we do that lesson, or somebody asks me to send them information from a lesson that I did, all I have to do is scroll through, and I can see the date of, oh yeah, we did that here on this day um, in January, um, or different things like this. So really, really helpful tool. Hope you enjoy it, and um, again, the easiest way to find answers to the questions is um, if you need help, the class, do class Dojo has help for the teachers already. You can Google, there's lots of people around the world who use this program already. So, Jayo, have a fun time. Bye.